my stakeholders and genuine representatives of the people gear up for the dialogue table. There must be a movement of fellow Nigerians, young and old, male and female, at home and abroad, with patriotic zeal burning in their heart, committed to finding a true Nigerian ideal and ensuring that the dialogue is conducted as prescribed by the people and that its outcome represents the genuine aspirations of the people. These Nigerians must take advantage of every medium, from social media to community gatherings, from conventional media to town hall meetings, to discuss the issues intelligently and to mount pressure on the government to respect the aspirations of the people. To this end, I pledge my life and time, not to any political party, but to the Nigerian of our dream. These Nigerians must take advantage of every medium, as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said when he stood before the American nation at the Lincoln Memorial in 1963, 100 years, just like we are celebrating our own amalgamation now, 100 years after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed by Abraham Lincoln. This is what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said. This is no time to engage in the luxury of cooling off or to take the tranquilizing drug of gradualism. Now is the time to make real the promises of democracy. Therefore, we must not put the cap before the horse by placing undue emphasis on 2015. If we do not do the needful in 2014, there may be no 2015. But if we dedicate ourselves to restructuring our nation at this opportune time, the outcome will be the emergence of credible leadership that will ensure a Nigeria that works in our lifetime. I want to know what uh, Pastor Tunde uh, Bakari thinks about what we can achieve with national conference as proposed by the president. Remember, the national conference he has proposed is only the latest national conference proposed by a sitting president which didn't achieve anything. His own is not different from that. That's what. Secondly, uh, secondly, uh, he appointed the committee. He was, he's going to now, by the latest announcement, he's going to appoint members who will conduct the national conference. And of course, the recommendation of the national conference will go to the National Assembly and by the constitutional arrangement in the country through the president. Now, is this not a total self service Secondly, the president is one of the guilty persons. We are talking about Nigeria not working. We are talking about the negative state of the nation. And then we are relying on the same person who is one of the guilty ones to bring about a change through a national conference. Is it possible? We support national conference, but not national conference conducted and controlled by the president because he's part of the problem and his predecessors did the same thing and he didn't achieve anything. We have to have a legitimate national conference. And in my suggestions, which uh, I made on a number of occasions, I suggested that the decision even to have a national conference or not should be left with those who are directly responsible for the negative state of the nation. Because we are not talking about several national conference. If we were talking about several national conference, then we'll do away with those who are directly responsible for the present negative state of the nation. And whether we like it or not, it is the president of the country, the president of the Senate, the speaker of the House of Representatives, even the chief justice of Nigeria. Because who else is responsible for controlling anything in Nigeria other than these four? Now what we are suggesting, or rather what I am suggesting is that the call for, to have a national conference should be made by these five. The president of the country, 
the President of the Senate, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Chief Justice, and what I call the sovereign people of Nigeria. And by the sovereign people of Nigeria, I mean the 70 million or so registered voters of Nigeria who can act, not directly, which is impracticable, but through neutral organizations such as civil society organizations, Nigeria Bar Association, uh, NLC, TUC, etc. They will represent the sovereign people of Nigeria. So the five of them should first decide that we need a national conference. Second, should elect those who will uh, conduct the uh, national conference under their directive. And of course, I added that if we don't have the national conference as a democratic process, as uh, the situation is now in Nigeria, everything is negative. There will be no alternative but a several national conference. And a several national conference means setting aside all the um, power structure in the country. And this can happen only through a social revolution. Is that what we are asking for? And if we are not asking for a social revolution, then we should go for a national conference, but not as proposed by the president, because it's sad. It's a fraud, because it's a journey to nowhere. It's a journey that's taking us to nowhere. They have not told us what they want to do with the reports. They, are not told, they have not told us how the report will be binding on the Nigerian people, on binding on government itself and its functional and its institutions. And so at the end of the day, these same people who control the machinery of state, they have all the rights to do what they like with their reports. And you will not expect them to commit class suicide. You will not expect them to take suggestions that will virtually undermine their present position and authority. And the sovereign national conference we are calling for is much more fundamental about what we have now on the ground. So, at the end of the day, where does all of this get us? It gets us nowhere. It gets us nowhere. In this country, to pick ourselves up, regardless of tribe, tribe has nothing to do with what is happening now. It's all a political gimmickry game. And it's between the politicians and the very selfish elders. If we wipe out all these elders, I'm telling you Nigeria will progress. Obasanjo put us in this problem. Obasanjo is creating more problems. And the problem itself, which is the present, good luck, Emilio Jonathan, has refused to solve itself. We need, as Nigerians, to move forward. Think amongst ourselves. They are the ones benefiting. We are the ones suffering. Our country needs to be improved. Our country needs to be better. We don't need statisticians like Ngozi Okonje Wela to start telling us all sorts of lies. We don't need stupid men like America and Wogu who cannot even produce jobs for young men to come and start telling us that we, they are the rulers and that uh, strike actions are normal things. They are not normal things. Nigeria should have gone past this level. They've taken us back 15 years. We have to advance ourselves. It's not going to take time. If we're serious today, in six months, this country can change. That's my view.